Yo, what's going on guys, and welcome back to episode 101 of the New World Let's Play series. In the last episode, I nearly lost my damn mind completing 100 M3s in a single video. It took three weeks to complete, but now that we're over that hump, we can enjoy the spoils of, of the war that we waged on ourselves in the last episode. We have, how much dark matter? Close to 4k, I'm pretty sure. 3,879 dark matter and um, pretty much an unlimited supply of dense mutated material that I could roll whatever the hell I want, really. And also inside the storage bins, we had so much gear we actually had to store it in two separate places. Brimstone Sands has all 500 unique item slots filled up with legendary pieces of gear from the M3 grind, as well as we had some spillover into the Bullseye storage bin. Quite a bit of spill over here as well. And to start things off, I'm just gonna do a little bit of PvP. I'm gonna enjoy my break from PvE, it's a much needed break. We're gonna be playing a little bit of VGIG, it's my favorite build on this entire game, and we're gonna be playing a little bit of OPR with it. We do have the Life Taker with Putrefying Scream, and I don't know why this bug is still here. It says I have two stacks of Scream, but when I take off the gauntlet and put it back on, it gets fixed. I don't know if you actually have to do that for it to work. I should honestly test that, because it's really annoying to take off your gauntlet every time that bug pops up. Um, but yeah, we're running a four shirking heel setup right now with the wood grain gauntlets that we put slowing tether on ourselves. Really nice setup we have going on here. And also, since we were doing nothing but PvE for nearly three weeks in the last episode, I want to show you guys my storage of, or my collection of chromatic seals. Check it out, 11 chromatic seals. That's what, 55,000 gold and 220,000 faction tokens and 11 days of playtime right there. Did some OPRs, just handed in my daily faction missions, and we're still actually a little short for tomorrow's Chromatic Seal, so I'll have to do more when they respawn. But that should give us, yep, checkpoint 3 on track 133, and sadly, actually I was going to say sadly no artifacts, but don't we have them all? I'm not used to that, hold on. Yeah, we got the unyielding, we got the nimble coat, I think two episodes ago, so yeah, never mind. Sadly, nothing. <laughs> oh, these are trash. Oh, this is trash. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I guess we'll take Mime and Avox then to get it out of the reward pool. These are really bad, though. Like, oh my god. It's like, where did Shirking Heels go? It seems like they completely removed Shirking Heels when they nerfed it for the second time, giving it a 10 second cooldown. I haven't seen it on the PvP tracks, unless it's on a named item. Don't know what they did, but we'll take Mime in a box. I'm d I was debating picking this up, Keen Vicious Fireball with a pretty cool skin, but I don't think it's worth the salt. That'd be half of my current salt stockpile. I'm gonna pass on that. Okay, now I gotta wait for PvP missions to come back, because these faction tokens, man, they go quick. There they are. For some reason, still bugged third one doesn't show up for me, like ever. And before we go any further, just a quick reminder, if you'd like to support the channel, you can always make a free account on Ashes of Creation with a referral link in the description down below. It'll help me out for when the game launches, and you'll be better prepared for what could be the biggest MMO of all times. Oh, what's that? We got the enchanting tights, let's see what we rolled. I'm pretty sure it's uh, Shirking Heals and Refreshing by default, third perks random. We rolled Shirking Energy, no way. We're taking those. Wait, what are the gloves? No, that's trash. Uh, 1,700 coins? Yeah, that's trash. Absolutely. We're taking these. Those are like those are like abyss. Honestly, for VGIG or healer, for a lot of classes, this is considered abyss in my opinion. If you're light armor, that is. Definitely taking those. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We got a new expedition, guys. The Glacial Tarn has dropped on this lovely AM. Uh, December 13th. So let's go over there, unlock the fast travel shrine and see what it's all about. Apparently it's also mutated because somebody was saying they're looking for a healer and tank for an M1. So, real high hopes. Wait, where am I going? And there she blows. Now this is a really nice thing to come back to because I've been off the game for, I, I think a little bit over a week. Look how buzzing it is. Man. Let's pop it open and see what the base rewards are. So we get refreshing and nimble. Frost and Shirking Cross Pillar of Fire, Vicious Mortal Refreshment, <sighs> Frozen Protection and Divine, I already have a Frozen Protection Amulet, and Vicious and Crippling Reap. I'm not gonna lie, those are absolutely terrible. But, let's see, um, does it show which artifact we have a chance at? No, a uh, Mount Talisman. I'm pretty sure there's an artifact from here. Obviously, I'm not gonna look anything up, but holy crap, this gear is insane. Is it just the Intelligence set? Ooh, Freedom, an Enchanted Ward on the deck set. 
heavy sets, enchanted ward, and refreshing. That's pretty much just the Azoth crystal set, so that's a little underwhelming. But this set is insane. I mean, too bad that Shirking Fort um, really only benefits medium, but especially heavy. This is a light armor set. It's probably not going to get much use out of Shirking Fort. But these are pretty good armor sets. What are we looking at from the M3 variant? The weapons come with Skewer and Vicious. Okay, I already have a best in slot Skewer, though. Vicious Tondo. Blessed and Mending Protection. That's not too bad. There are other ways to get that, though. Anything. Vicious and Fireball. Okay, you land keenly empowered or jagged. It's a pretty good... Weapon, Vicious Maelstrom, Vicious Torrent, that used to be good, but you know, Torrent's nerfed now. Is there anything in here, guys? Sorry, we gotta look through these together. Keen Awareness and Leeching, meh. Divine Health, meh. I mean, at least these have Int, right? Our real hearty, our healthy toast, that'd be pretty good Int earrings. Yeah, no, these actually are pretty bad. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. This does not look that good. This looks pretty good, if you're looking for a PvP kite shield, actually. Well, I'll still gear up, give it a go, and see what artifact we get, but these weapons are pretty lame. They really need to start adding more, you know, new perks to the game. There's only so many different combinations of vicious and a weapon perk you can milk. It's been years, guys. Well, we're in the regular version of the dungeon. I just recruited, and this is so far pretty cool. First thing you come into, I guess you just jump down, screw it. All damage doesn't kill you in this game anyway. Hit a splash of light for the boys. Alright, let's check out this dungeon. Looks pretty cool. That's interesting. Is this them trying to incorporate the combat triangle? You can see my nature attacks are doing nothing. And my void attacks are doing nothing. All my mage attacks are doing nothing on this sniper. Well, this is rather annoying. It looks like we're steamrolling them so fast I can't even get to the max reward. We're at 2700. Dang it. 3600 PvP XP for that, okay. Not the worst, still better than it was before the update. But I missed that 5.5k XP by like 300 points, that's annoying. Ooh, and check it out! It looks like they really put some love into reworking the Kite Shield perk pool. Or just, you know, shield perk pools in general, because during that regular Glacial Tarn we did, I did get a Tower Shield with a, um, what's the weapon called? The Flail? I got a Flail perk on it. So it looks like they completely reworked the perk pools for all shields. We rolled Enchanted Ward on this one. Really nice, if that refreshing was um, one of the new Kite Shield exclusive perks, like the leeching or counter attack, I probably would take it, but I'm going to take the Dark Matter instead. Oh wait, no, I probably shouldn't. We need 50k salt for that artifact, we can get it on this next checkpoint. That would be a doozy if um, we rolled it with only 17k salt, so I think I'll hold off for now. That's not very good. Lag detected on the point, right when TFF Boba started pelting me with his bolt caster. I know that's a bolt caster, I saw a massive lightning damage blot on me right before I lost connection. I hope I don't get kicked, because if I get banned from OPR for an hour, I'm going to be very salty. This was a good game too. Almost full contribution already. No, he actually kicked me from the server, that's so sad. It says I have internet. Let me see if I can load YouTube or something. My internet has been kind of buggy today. Yeah, I'm able to load YouTube. My dad is not available right now. Oh, don't, don't say it ain't so, Amazon. That sucks. Yeah, I'm gonna have to restart the game even though my internet's not actually down. This game is very finicky. If you lose connection for like a second, it's like, sorry dude, I have no idea who you are. Well, at least it looks like my internet wasn't the culprit. Angster said just crashed for me, lag detected, into booted, and then Mender as well said lag detected, into booted, into character restore failure, which was the same thing for me, so that looks like it's a new issue. Kind of scary getting booted from OPR. I hope this isn't going to happen like every other game. But we'll risk it. Oh, hold on. Let me go find a wolf to kill really quick. I want to test something. I just need 10 more points. Hold on, you. You're dying. Come on, the game's about to end. Did I get 10 points? No! No! 9994! I wanted to see if there's a special reward tier for 10,000 points and we missed it by literally 6 points. Um, 5,500 salt. Why only 4k PvP XP? That was a win with 10,000 points, basically. Do you need 10,000 points for the 5,500? Because that would be absolutely ridiculous. We missed it by 3 points, actually. By 3 points! Oh, that's so annoying, but okay, let's um, let's see what we got. We did hit checkpoint three on this PvP track, so we do have a chance at the artifact here. I think it's just the one life staff artifact that they added to the PvP tracks. So let's see. No, no lucky, but that's 
trash, vicious again. Uh, this is interesting, but I'm not going to take it. Absolutely no gypsum orb. They need to just get rid of vicious from the champion's weapons. Well, not all of them, but for great axe, man, vicious is not good. Well, it's okay, but it's, you know, it's never worth taking, is it? So we'll complete that track, and yeah, I really only got 4k. That's crazy. I didn't get 5,500. I would have completed the track at 5,500, or the checkpoint, that is. Is 10k the maximum reward here? Did I really miss it by three points? <laughs> I guess we'll have to try again. Well, it looks like OPR is a little dead right now. Five and a half minute queue and we don't even have half the people we need. And I'm pretty sure this is with the cross server functionality. Though don't quote me on that. So I think I'm going to leave the queue. And, um... Ah, oh, dang it. I was going to join this troll farm, but it looks like they just filled. Okay, well, good luck to you guys. You do get the artifact from the Glacial Tarn from the first boss, not the final boss. So it's a pretty popular thing right now to just make a M1 group and just get to the troll boss, which this guy just told me it takes approximately 12 minutes with a good group. So I'm going to go ahead and make an M1 lobby or apply to one of these. Already run first boss only. Perfect. Yeah, like I said, the loot here is not very good. So I'll go ahead and apply for the healer role, I guess. I just have to swap my gear. Look at that. We've arrived in three and a half minutes to the boss that drops the artifact. This is going to be cake. Almost dead. Oh, there is a lot of effects going on. My graphics card fan just went into overdrive. But there we go. Let's check it out. Where's the loot bag? No, but we got the avalanche great axe. That sounds pretty cool. What is that? Oh, we rolled Keen. This is the one that drops the Vicious and Reap on it, I think. That is so bad, man. That's actually, like, so bad. And look at how cute this is. We got a blue Icebound Buckler. It's getting scrapped, but it is cute. These are nice. These are pretty nice. I'll keep those. Anyway, three and a half minutes to get to the boss. Let's run it back. Okay, never mind. Apparently, Glacial Tarn just got disabled. People were saying in Global Chat that it got disabled, and I was like, well, surely that's not the case, but I can't find group. I don't think I can start it up either. Oh, I can. I wonder since I have my lobby that I can start another run because apparently there was a Twitter post. Something was being exploited. I hope it's not the, what I'm doing. The fact that you can get to the first boss in three minutes and kill it for the artifact because that's by design. I surely hope they didn't disable it because of that. That would be a severe oversight if they didn't see this one coming. Oh, well, I better go check the Twitter post then. Let's see. Okay, well, the moment of truth. I was able to invite someone to my lobby. Let's see if I can fire it up. Apparently it's disabled for everybody else on the server, but I'm the only one that had a lobby open before they disabled it. Like, right on time, so we'll see if this last person readies up. Okay. We joined group, but I didn't get a notification to join the expedition, so no. Yeah, it's disabled. Okay, then I guess we're going back to OPR. Let me change all my gear. Actually, at least we have gear sets for that. There we go. You know what actually just came to my mind as I'm laying here dead on the floor of OPR? Oh, actually, I do want to get this rapier, by the way. This is something I want to farm soon. Beautiful rapier. I think it comes with Vicious and Rogue, and you can put Omnia Bay on that. Thank you for reminding me whoever just killed me. But something that came to my mind while I was sitting there is they delayed the launch of Glacial Tarn by a day to fix bugs. And now, on day of release, it's disabled due to more bugs. What the hell's going on over there at Amazon? I totally forgot this was delayed by a day. It was a 40 gigabyte patch last night, and then when I woke up today, there was another 40 gigabyte patch. And then once they fix this exploit, it's probably gonna be another 40 gigabyte patch. And then just for fun, they're gonna throw in another 40 gigabyte patch. No. No, 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 do not do this 7.6K points. You are not booting me. If I, okay, so the expedition crashes, it's disabled or whatever, and then you come to OPR, and then OPR just boots you from the game and you lose all your rewards! Yeah, this is... this... I'll wait for it. My internet is definitely not down right now. Steam authentication failure. Well, okay. Little mosh pit fighting, and I think, yep, 3,000 points. I'm going to AFK. There's no way I'm going to play my heart out for like 30 minutes and get kicked again. Absolutely not. Let me go find a nice little tree. I'm gonna just go hug it. That's the smart thing to do. Do I need to say anything else? I literally found a weird wood tree and started hugging it. And... Server crash. I'm less than 50% of my games being completed right now. I'm literally two completes and three crashes. Okay, is it safe? 
Is the coast clear? Can I play the game again? <laughs> it's um, it's been, what is it? It's 1am right now, so it's been about 8 or 9 hours. And the game is finally up. It just came back up. It looks like Glacial Tarn is re-enabled. So I'm gonna get a group together, and we're gonna try for this artifact thing again. He seems pretty chill this time around. Give me that shit. Oh, I got it! Oh my god, wow. That was only that was only my second mutation. Yeah, we could unstuck and get out of here. If you want to get it, I'll keep running them with you. It's really fast. I'm whooping his ass with the life staff. <laughs> I got it. Oh my god, the first kill. Bro, there is there is nothing difficult in this game. They just give you anything you want just for logging on. I got back-to-back -back artifacts. The, the 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 M1 Tarn into the first kill got the bullet caster. Can you see me running around? Yeah, I can see. Yeah, you're running around me right now. I can, just I have light detected. I can't I can't click. I can't move. I can't do nothing. This is new. I can swap weapons. <laughs> Can I, you can, can I, can I eat a hearty meal? No, you, you can't. I don't see oh. anything swapping weapons. Oh, shit, you don't? Uh, oh, this is brand okay. new. Damn. Yeah, sitting there. You see me attacking? Yeah, you, you just swung your greatsword. You just swung it again. Okay, it's the next day and we just finished a regular glacial tarn, which completed the final quest other than upgrading at the kiln on this deep freeze ice skull. And the more I think about it, you know, there's upsides and downsides, but overall I think this is going to be a really strong ice gauntlet. The downside, you can't put Alacritus Punishment and Empowering Ice Spike on here at the same time. The Chilling End is, uh, like in some sense, just a worse Alacritus Punishment. If you're doing PvP, if you're doing PvE, this is actually a pretty solid ice gauntlet. Not that ice gauntlet is a top tier PvE weapon, although I'm going to test it and, um see how it stacks up. I think I'm going to put Empowering Ice Spike on here. Um, but yeah, in PvP, I think you're better off just running a Craft Gauntlet with Empowering Ice Spike, Vicious, and Alacritish Punishment, or uh, something like that. Anyway, let me hand in these quests for the day, get a big boost of tokens, and also let me pick up a chromatic seal because I've been stocking up on them since I haven't been doing any crafting or anything. I have a massive stockpile of chromatic seals and I'm probably going to be blowing through them today. I've got something planned. All of a sudden my entire game plan is rotating around this ice gauntlet, which is cool. It's a very niche weapon for things to rotate around. But let me scroll down to the artifact section. Is it because I have it equipped? Yeah, I mean that makes sense. And I just want to see what options we can put on here. Can we put Alacritus Punishment? I don't think we can. No. You can just put Attunement, Weapon Perks. Although, I mean, Pylon Burst might be pretty freaking good on here. I don't know. We're definitely going to be putting Empowering Ice Spike, though. So, let me go grab that Craft Mod. And do we have everything else? Weapon Matrix. And Gypsum Orbs. What the heck? Do how many Gypsum Orbs? That can't be right. I'll convert down all this ruby gypsum, I'm sure. We've got the craft mod, we've got the matrix, we've got the gypsum orbs, I think it's time to craft it. Looks good? I think it looks good. I think I need- uh, I think I made a mistake. Actually, as soon as I hit craft, I do believe there's a higher gold tax here. Yeah, 1,000 gold tax to upgrade an artifact here. I'm pretty sure that's not the case if you go to other major cities. Why do I always do it at Great Cleave? I, I upgrade every artifact here for some reason and I always forget about that giant gold tax. But there it is, look at that, 40% more damage to rooted foes. Along with chilled, chilling end, I mean this is really nice for PvE. And now it's time for a much bigger crafting session. We're about to upgrade three items, one artifact, and two regular pieces of gear. Starting off with the Nimble Coat, I finished everything on this except for the upgrade part. Oh, this is gonna suck though, hold on. Am I gonna lose my opal, my rune glass opal in here? I think I am. Oh, that's heartbreaking. That's such an expensive gem, I'm gonna lose that when I upgrade this. They need to fix that, because instead of upgrading the item you have, they take your item away and just give you back a brand new item with the perk that you want on here. And it's worth it, but it's really stupid. We're going to be putting shirking heels on here. Everything looks good. 
Yeah, get this quest out of here too, because my artifact quests are filling up again. I couldn't even equip my bolt caster t to see what the mission objectives are, because I, I was capped 5 out of 5. And now, the other two upgrades we're going to do are of the Admiral Tricorn set. Pretty expensive, three chromatic seals apiece, but really nice set with ice harnessing and Ellie version. And we're going to be putting weapon perks on here. I got the craft mod for Unending Thaw and Healing Tomb, and we're going to be upgrading the gloves and the helmet, but I'm not sure which one I want on which. Yeah, we'll, just, we'll put the Healing Tomb on the Tricorn cap, and we'll put the Unending Thaw on the glove slot. That's probably the best way to go about it. So the, oh man, what a nice piece of gear. Jeez. And now the Admiral Claw. We did roll Thrust Conditioning randomly on here, so it is a nice roll. Kind of sucks to, you know, write over it, so to speak, but it's definitely worth it. Unending Thaw. Three Chromatic Seals. Jeez. Glad I was buying them the whole time I wasn't really playing. And yeah, we did, in fact, lose the Rune Glass Opal in there. But that's five out of five. Ice Harnessing with full weapon perks. Oh no, it's not 5 out of 5. We don't have ice harnessing on here. Oh well, I want to run this in the healer setup too, so it's not worth putting ice harnessing on here. Yeah, look at that. I lost a 5,000 gold gem because of that upgrade bug at the kiln. Oh, it's just such a terrible feeling, man. Is it cheaper to buy the case of freezing and just put an opal in there? It's a little cheaper. Oh man, that's a lot of gold for a bug. It's a little cheaper to do this though, so we'll buy three of these and we will put the regular cut pristine opals in there. Okay, now at the stone cutting station, let's complete this build by crafting these three frozen opal rune glass gems. This is a much cheaper way. Always pay attention to the price of the rune glass case. It saves you usually a couple hundred when you're doing the gems. It's very cheap to craft them yourself. Sadly, no bonus chance potential, but once we slot these, this is pretty much... Why do I have so many? Holy crap, did I already have two on me? I did. Oh, that's... I mean, it's a good thing, right? I have more, but that's annoying. Ugh, I pretty much wasted 10k. I have more money than brains since I've just been building up gold on this account. I still have pretty much max cash in my treasury. I'm never going to get rid of it all. Does it really matter? But yeah, I have to go get a rapier now to run with the setup. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to be getting the life ring rapier, which I was talking about earlier in this episode. That guy who had it in OPR that killed me. It's pretty much, um, if you're not using the finisher, the artifact rapier, it's pretty much a best in slot. Although it's annoying, I'd have to respect from bleed to, uh, you know, the, the evade tree, but it is what it is. We don't have ability presets on this game yet. I'm sure they're going to come at some point. I'm going to get a group together and go farm that rapier. Oh, we got the life ring rapier and pretty early on too. We've only been here for about half an hour. This is a miserable farm if you go dry here because there's just so many waves and nobody wants to do it. It took me almost an hour just to recruit the people here and then about half an hour of killing the mobs to get it. Look at that. Vicious and rogue, man. We can put... Omni Evade on there, and that is one of the best op hands to run with an Ice Gauntlet. Although it does have Dexterity, not Magnify, which is a slight downside, but not the worst, right? Damage. And how I think I'm going to go about getting that is rolling a Champion's Ring from the PvP track and upgrading it to put Ice Damage instead of Keen. You can get Hardy and invigorated punishment is default and now they let you swap the keen for whatever you want at the gypsum kiln so we're 541 xp from checkpoint 2 which gives us a chance to roll it i do have two rings actually two champion rings but both of them are the old version the non-named version so they are currently unupgradable which kind of sucks but um i guess it is what it is right i've been saying that a lot lately but hey it is what it is let me queue up for opr and let's try to get this ring well, sadly, doesn't look like a champion's ring, but we did get some more dark matter, and I found out we have a ton of vials of Azoth salt, so I can definitely spend some salt on dark matter, which is nice. Let's get back into OPR, and I guess we'll have another shot, and I can get another game or two. Well, still no life staff artifact, but at least we got a few interesting items. We're definitely not taking the face palm. Who's talking in... Okay, I can't control the voice chat of people. I'm sorry about that, but let's check out what we got. Predator's pod... Oh my god, that's really nice, isn't it? Jeez, that is really, really nice. Shield Rush Vicious? Yeah, we're probably taking that. It's 16,000 salt, but we're only missing one artifact, so as soon as we get that, we don't really have a use for our salt. How good are these? Uh, oh, they're strength, damn it. Oh, they're strength! I would have taken these. God, those are nice. It still might be good, right? Because sometimes you use an Ice Gauntlet with a, a strength build, but they are light. Um, if they were heavy and had shirking heals instead of shirking energy, I probably would take them, even if they had strength. But we'll go with the Predator's Pod. 
If nothing else, it's a cool skin, right? Maybe we can finally transmog our first item. We have all these tokens we're not using. But PvP track 141, let's hop back into OPR. I'll probably finish one or two more tracks before I wrap up this video. If we don't get the live staff, it is what it is. We can get it in the next episode. That's the fun of series. Well, no live staff, but we did get a live staff related item. The Healing Animus Craft Mod, which is Savior. For only 2,500 salt, we'll definitely be taking that. And this will be the last track for the video, so if we don't get the live staff here, um, you'll just have to come back, won't you? Well, sadly it was a defeat, but that should get us checkpoint 3 on, I believe, track 143, which is the final checkpoint of the video. So let's see if we're going out on a bang. Do we get the live staff artifact? I would love to use it. Healing is probably my favorite way to play this game. Other than VGIG, I do believe those two methods are tied for me on this game. No, a tower shield and some headdress that I'm almost certain doesn't have shirking heels on it. Let's see. No sturdy fortification, huh? On a champion's tower shield, I don't get the PvP unique perk. Surely they're going to give me the PvP unique perk on this Solomizer's headdress. We'll come back to it. How about that? We'll come back to it, gang. We're going to end this episode here, complete this track. Oh, that was 142. Now we're on 143. So tune back in next time, see if we get the life staff artifact. And who knows what else we'll get into. I guess that's the fun of an MMO, right? So I'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe before you head out. And don't forget the Ashes referral link in the description if you've not yet made your free account. And I'll see you guys in the next upload. See ya.